Hey folks, welcome to creating advanced 3D motion graphic in Cinema 4D and After Effects Box Studio project. Uh, it's Khezri here with you and I'm really happy to be with you in this tutorial series and hopefully we're gonna learn a lot together. Now, uh, in this series of tutorial, we're gonna be uh, talking some advanced stuff inside Cinema 4D. We're gonna be starting our course by uh, a process called camera calibration. And uh, you might have uh, heard about the camera calibration and the process, generally speaking. But really, when the time comes when you want to put this basic concept into a real world, there are so many challenges that you need to understand them and you need to come up with solutions for them to get the job done. Basically, we uh, in the camera calibration process, what we do really basically is we uh, turn a simple 2D photo. As you can see, the whole environment that you see, these dynamic solutions that happens in that environment, the whole room here, the whole furniture here is... Uh, uh, a simple 2D photo that I found on internet really simply so now how to turn this simple 2D room the this simple 2D photo to a real 3D world and being able to uh, simulate this whole dynamic uh, simulations and spheres and cubes and stuff like that that's really not an easy task now we're gonna be starting by the process of camera calibration and we recreate the uh, uh, camera that was used to uh, shot the scene and after that we uh, basically remodel the scene so we remodel the floor the, uh, the actual room uh, and uh, let's just uh, take a look at this design and see what we are going to be creating in this course okay that's fantastic isn't it very nice design let's take a look at it again very complicated uh, dynamic simulations and a very nice uh, uh, moving picture and effects and elements everything is moving and that's a uh, quite a nice image that we're going to be creating from absolutely scratch so we are start from zero and we finish the project step by step together now uh, as I was saying, the next step after the camera calibration is to basically remodel the scene. We try to remodel the room, the floor, the walls, different furnitures, the sofa, the table, and whatever there is. We try to remodel and uh, uh, combine this modeling with our camera calibration. So finally we have a 3D scene that we can uh, do whatever we want in there. Now, uh, after that, we are ready to basically start setting up our dynamic simulations. We start by some simple... Uh, dynamic simulations and we uh, learn how to combine the uh, some simple dynamic simulation with some advanced dynamic sim uh, simulation tips and tricks we learn how to uh, get this uh, uh, dynamic stuff kind of work together you can see we have two dynamic simulation we have this uh, purple and uh, uh, purple balls that are uh, moving around in the room and we have this uh, as you can see uh, this uh, red balls that are filling the bag and now there are two different dynamic simulations and we we'll learn how to uh, kind of combine them together and as you can see really getting those uh, uh, spheres to fill this really complicated model here uh, requires some really uh, neat tip, tips and tricks inside Cinema 4D and you uh, are going to learn how to do them inside Cinema 4D uh, now uh, you know getting the dynamic simulation exactly uh, the way you want it, it's not a simple task. Look at this, how uh, exact dynamic simulation is. The main logo comes out and really uh, do whatever we want. So, uh, you know, it's not easy. We're going to be using and implementing different forces and different tools inside Cinema 4D to get this dynamic simulation done. And I tell you, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's a really complicated process. And there is a lot of tweaking going on to get the job done. Finally, now we're going to be creating the materials. As I said, everything. 
we're going to be creating the materials or some nice as you can see the materials are really nice and shiny they feel sort of glassy and we're going to be creating them and that a very important point here is guys as you can see the floor here is uh, quite uh, uh, the basic image is quite reflective and we uh, implement a method in which the floor actually becomes reflective to uh, the balls that we added on the floor now uh, the original image uh, their reflection wasn't there but uh, when we add those dynamic simulation and as you can see the floor is quite reflective we need to uh, see the reflection of the balls and other dynamic elements on the floor so we have to uh, uh, find a method that we which uh, in which we actually get the reflections there now uh, after the dynamic simulation is done and we're gonna go through some uh, lighting and global illumination setting how to uh, kind of get our render ready and how to prepare our scene to final render render how to uh, Come and you can see we have some nice depths of field effects going on and I show you how to do that inside cinema 4d uh, and how to basically get your job done the uh, uh, and uh, now a very important question is uh, whether to use a uh, standard render inside cinema 40 or physical render now this is a decision that I make possibly after I'm ready to render, I decide whether to go with standard render or physical render based on the time that uh, each one takes. Now, uh, for this one, uh, we're gonna possibly use physical render because uh, it's gonna be much more quicker. We have a lot of reflective and blurry stuff going on, so it's gonna be really useful for us. And uh, when the render is finished, uh, we're gonna have a lot of passes and we import those passes inside After Effects and do the final compositing. Now, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. This tutorial is made for the people who know the basics of Cinema 4D, who have been watching different tutorial series on uh, I don't know, introduction to animation, introduction to MoGraph inside Cinema 4D, introduction to dynamic system or dynamic simulations inside Cinema 4D. But when they want to do a real world project, they just, uh, they just stuck. They just, uh, whoa, what am I going to, how am I going to do that? And now, I will be uh, really uh, walk you through the process of uh, you know the uh, the idea, the thought, the uh, process in uh, which you think about how to do stuff. Now it's we're gonna do every practical thing, you know, every dynamic simulation. But the process and the thought process in which you uh, think how to do a complicated process, how to where to start, where to manage, where to finish your job. It's going to be very important for the people who really know the software, but uh, whatever they do, they can create something great. And uh, I'll hope, I really hope that it's going to be a really useful series of tutorial for you guys. And uh, please support me, you know, uh, come here and get the course. And we're going to have so much fun together. So uh, uh, I'm Khazri, and uh, please uh, come on and uh, let's get started with tutorial. Let's learn Cinema 4D. Let's learn real stuff, not just uh, some, uh, you know, stuff that we all of us know. But the problem is some of us know how to kind of get those uh, principles into a real world uh, project. And some of us basically, they don't know how to uh, do that. So uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. We're going to be starting by the process of camera calibration. It's a, uh, a sort of camera, it's sort of complicated process, but uh, we walk you through every, every step of it. So uh, see you in the next lesson.